Welcome to Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to become happy and consistently profitable. Today we're going to be going over the markets. Um, it's a Sunday, 19th of the 4th, and we're going to be going over Euro AUD first. So I'm going to look at this. I'm seeing a downtrend. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be seeing a downtrend on this if you're in the 30 minute. So again, looking for shorts if we're in a downtrend and placing Fibonacci from the high down to the low. And anything around this area here, I'll be looking for a sell. Um, so if there's a round number in here. I mean, well, whatever. Um, so that looks like a good level to be short at. Um, Obviously, it is quite a big distance for your stop loss, so remember to have um, quite a tight, or not a tight, a reduce your risk basically because you're going to be having a larger stop loss instead of a tighter one like normal. Um, and also, your take profit is going to be quite large. So, you could have a take profit here at the 61 or the 100, which is the one that I would normally go for. Um, so if we zoom out here, that's the trade that we'll be looking at. So price to come up to this level here and we enter and as soon as price comes down back to this zero zero level, we'll be moving our stop loss to entry and taking half the position off um, and letting it go all the way down to the symmetrical move. Um, once that has happened, obviously exit the position fully and move on. Um, but that is a trade that could happen next week. EuroCAD. As you can see, it's quite choppy on this, so I probably wouldn't be looking for anything on here other than a short term trade. Um, probably looking for a short, I guess, but again, when it's choppy like that, I'm not really looking for trades, so it's best to stay out. Um, the market seems to be getting smaller and smaller in its ranges, so if you have a look at the moves up here, it's big moves. And then they slowly start to get smaller and smaller. Whereas now it's just kind of not really moving at all. And we're just kind of moving in the same area. So not going to be having a look at Euro JPY. Or Euro GBP I mean. Moving on to Euro JPY. Um, same thing really. Not really looking at anything. You could be short in here for a short term trade. So we would enter here. I mean, you could enter right now, really. Stop loss here. And then you'll take profit. Down here. Um, so that could be a trade that you would be looking at. You're at that nice round number. Um, so that could be a nice trade. Euro NZD. No, I'm not even going to have a look at that. Same with Euro USD. I'm going to keep this video short. Same with GBP AUD. GBP JPY, we are still in this trade um, from the 29th of March. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not really moved on us, um, but move stop loss to entry anyway. Um, and that's basically what the trade would be looking like. It almost hit take profit. Um, but again, let's move back down and we're just kind of seeing what happens um, over the next week. GBP NZD. Looking for buys on this and there is a possible buy coming up. So we've hit the 62% but we, I'm looking for the 71% really. Um, so if price comes down here. That could be a nice trade, although it is quite a large stop loss again and take profit. Um, but if you see the setup, you just take it. Um, so GBP NZD, possible good trade. GBP USD, still in this trade. Obviously move stop loss to entry because we've come up to this zero zero level again. And that's how the trade's looking. Um, Hopefully we can break these highs uh, next week and we can move our stop loss up to this level here. 
and basically just keep track of that next week. USD CAD. Not really looking at anything on here considering that we've had the move higher and we're kind of consolidating downward at this stage. Um, you could actually look for a short trade in here or this one depending on how the next week goes. Um, there could be a short trade here. But again, not really looking at anything because it's quite choppy. Uh, there's a short term downtrend, but obviously you've got the long term to think about as well. And finally, USD JPY. Not really looking for anything on here. It could be a short term trade. Uh, sell right here. And that's it. So they're all the pairs that I have a look at. Um, there's a few trades that could happen. Uh, there's not really much that's happening for me at the moment. Um, but we'll see what happens. Euro JPY looking like a good one. If you liked the video, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.